Okay, well, this, this is a story, it's lots of stories written and told about the Carfa Man, but this story is the most famous. And it's most famous because part of it is still here. Now, in about 50, in 1950, round about then, uh, helicopters weren't a very common thing. So that's how I know it was around about 1950. And my line manager, who's ancient now, she saw it as a little girl coming into Port St. Mary. And that's, I'm jumping ahead now. But um, there was a family, a family at the farmhouse here, and she was heavily pregnant, about to have the baby, and there was nothing but storms. They couldn't get food in, they couldn't get mail in, they couldn't get off. And so he was desperate to get someone to help with his wife, you see. So what he did, he got firewood and paper and he came out here with his matches. As I said, it's a storm and he started a fire. So they would see him from the Chicken's Rock Lighthouse. They'd have the binoculars on them. And uh, uh, he lit the fire and it went out. He lit it again, it went out. So he went back to the farmhouse and he brought paraffin and a can of white paint and a brush. And uh, he eventually got the fire to go. And while the fire was burning, he wrote the word baby on this wall in big letters. Now you can still, only you know they're there. You, you walk past it, you wouldn't see it. You can just see a white line here. That's the line of the B. So you can see the B here. You've got to have a good imagination. You can see part of the A. You can probably see it better than I can because I'm right close to it. There's another part of the B and there's a Y here. You can see the white of the Y. And he wrote in big letters, baby. Because he didn't want to make it too long a sentence. <laughs> baby. They understood. They got on the radio to Edinburgh. Edinburgh got on the radio to Wales, which was the nearest helicopter station. And they flew from Wales to the Calf, picked her up and took her to the hospital. Now, many years later, a friend of mine, in about 2000 it was, Desi Robinson, was a warden on the calf, and he was out in the front garden at the observation, the farm. And a woman leaned over the gate, and he thought she wanted a water or something. So he went over to have a word on her, and he said, do you want a drink? And she said, no, no, I'm fine. I just, um, just wondered if you ever heard the story about the baby. And Desi Robinson, being a, a raconteur and a great storyteller, said, I'll tell you all about the baby. And he started to tell her about the baby. And she said, whoa, 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 you don't need to tell me. She said, I'm the woman. And if you wait a few minutes, baby's coming up the track. And he got to meet the mother and the baby. When the mother died, her ashes were spread about the fields here. And there's a little sign. I, I know where it is, but it's very hard to find. A little sign to say her ashes are here. And that's mother. So she's really right by us now. And the daughter is about 60 now, the babby. Yeah, so it's a lovely story. It was like, you can just imagine how the man and the woman felt when they got stormbound and they had to get help somehow or other. And that's how they did it, with baby. <laughs>